the greatest sin in the history of humanity, why we're all here, why we're all suffering, why we experience death, a slip? I didn't believe it. I went to my Arabian friends at that time. I didn't know any Arabic. They came to this verse. We went through it line by line. I said, now don't change any words. Just read them one at a time. But Satan made them, and I said, okay, this one, this one right here. What does it mean? Tell me what that means. They looked at it. It says, uh, slip. <laughs> <laughs> slip and expelled them from the state in which they were a slip I thought but then maybe I was trying to force the traditional understanding the traditional interpretation maybe it was just a slip I mean after all they didn't commit murder they didn't commit robbery rape pillaging assault they ate a, a couple of pieces of fruit. Well, it's not the greatest sin in the history of humanity by any means. And then the next verse says, and then they were expelled from the state in which they were. Well, what state were they? Let's see now. Let's go back from where we started. First, mankind is being taught. We see he's an intellectual being. Then we show he's a moral being. Moral being means he's a being that's going to have to make choices. And then God gives him this choice. It's not a huge deal. It's not the gravest sin in the history of humanity by any means. It's minor by any standards. They make it, though. We see that God originally intended to put man on earth as his vicegerent. We see a period of preparation where he's being prepared intellectually, where he's growing intellectually, where he's growing as a moral creature. When does God finally put him on earth? What signals that he's ready to begin? He makes his first independent choice. It's not the worst deed in the history of humanity. It's minor on anybody's scale, but it shows that mankind is ready to act on his own, to be his own, to make his own choices, that God has empowered him to make choices, and he's ready to make them and carry them out and see them most often to their expected ends, if God wills.